I wasn't shivering, and I couldn't imagine. I, I kept thinking, why am I not cold? But I was past shivering. That's how hypothermic I was. They brought Joan in, and Cindy, and Kristen. People reached out for me and were hugging me and holding blankets around me. But the bottom dropped out on me when I didn't see Mary Lee's face. She's a real dear person to me, and I, I, uh, I felt like she might be dead. <laughs> I was paddling just as hard as I could possibly go. I was just scanning the river the whole time, looking for that orange life jacket. I was coming up to Bridal Veil Falls, and in that area, the waves aren't quite as big, so you can get a pretty good look. And finally spotted her. She was floating with her head just barely above water. I could see that she was still conscious as I came up to her, which really surprised me, actually, because she'd been in the water for a long time. Anytime you've been in the water that long, your, your hands get very, very cold. It's real difficult to, to hang on to anything. I was just hoping that she had the strength and the, and the wherewithal to hang on to the kayak so that I could get her ashore. When Mike finally got 41-year-old Mary Lee Hayes to shore, she had been in the near-freezing water for 15 minutes. It seemed like forever till the van got down there, and I'm sure it was just a couple of minutes. She was in a hypothermic state, and we needed to get her warmed up as quick as possible. You got her? You right? And all of a sudden, the door to the van sort of slid open, and there she was. She had really bad color. She was confused. She kept saying that she couldn't see. By the time Mary Lee was put in the van, Everyone else on the raft had already been rescued. She was treated for hypothermia at a local hospital and released the same day. A year has passed since the incident, but the memories are still vivid. Some of the women have already been rafting, but others, like Mary Lee Hayes, will never go out on the water again. That feeling of being alone in the river was the most frightening thing I've ever been through. I wasn't thinking that there was any way out of it. At that point, I saw an angel come. He was very bright and had a blonde hair and a big smile. I remember the smile just tremendously. And he said, can you take hold of the kayak? Mike Buck is a very special person to me. I know in my heart that he saved my life. The timing was unbelievable. It was really a miracle that I was there at the right place with all the right equipment. Definitely affirmed the way I already believe about life. That life is good. And it's very good when you get pulled out of a, a river. The angels were definitely with us that day. There's no question about it. They were definitely with us. 
next. Next, step inside the command center where the calls for help are answered and meet the real-life heroes who save lives. Stay tuned for another episode of Rescue 911. Next on Discovery Health Channel. Real life. Medicine. Miracles. Mr. Shapiro, step out of the car, please.